I'm Mark McGowan with the Department of History of the University of Toronto and I'm here in Ottawa just up from the uh, the Ottawa River uh, where the Rideau Canal uh, empties or at least uh, uh, joins the Ottawa River and behind me is Nepean Point currently uh, with a statue of Samuel de Champlain on it but uh, in 1847 it was the site of considerable activity because Irish famine migrants had come to the city and uh, and many of the diseased uh, and infected with typhus were in fever sheds uh, right adjacent to Nepean Point. Um, they were under the care of uh, the Gray Sisters of Montreal who at that point had a branch in Ottawa under Mother Elizabeth Bruyere uh, and uh, of particular note were uh, at least 60 children uh, who were orphaned uh, during the process of migration from Ireland through Gros Ile, through Montreal, up the Ottawa, and finally here at Bytown, uh, who uh, needed uh, special attention because uh, their parents were dead and they had nowhere to go. It was Mother Bruyere and the Sœur de Charité de Ottawa, or the Grey Nuns of Ottawa, uh, who uh, made accommodation for them first uh, in the sheds, then in their hospital, uh, until such time as they could be uh, placed uh, with uh, families uh, here in Bytown. Some Irish, but many French-Canadian families. It's part of the famine legacy that's often forgotten, particularly given the attention uh, that's offered by historians and, and, and popular focus given to Montreal and Toronto. Ottawa is often overlooked, but here uh, was one of the nerve centers in the upper Ottawa Valley uh, to take care of famine migrants, many of whom died here and others who moved on uh, into the interior of the province uh, into places like the upper Ottawa Valley. 